Let's remember when you were teenagers, which was uh, your first car and do you have any funny st story about it? Mine was a Grand Pontiac Grand Prix and it was, I think it was recalled 315 times yeah. within the first two years. So I definitely have one. I was in high school, man, and I, all I cared about was actually having a vehicle. I didn't care about what it looked like on the inside, outside. I had a Plymouth Reliant with a messed up paint job because somebody had waxed the car previous to me and left it out in the sun. The whole outside of the car was still had remnants of the wax job on there. But I didn't care, I was the happiest man in the world. I was 16 years old, had a car, was able to drive to school. That's all that mattered to me. I didn't have my license when we got this movie. I don't think Michelle had her yeah, license. Yeah, I got my license for the movie. I learned to drive on a track. Yeah, really? And I, I was growing up in New York. I was like, I don't need a car. I love taking cabs or the subway. Um, and now that we're in, in LA, you know. Everybody I, I, lives yeah, in their car in Los Angeles. Car. Yeah, right. so, Please tell me that's not a Pontiac Fiero strapped to a rocket engine. Impressive, I know. No, no, that's, that's not impressive. 80, 84 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. I got it when I was 14 and a half, so I couldn't even drive yet. And I smoked the transmission by the time I was 15 and a half. And it's an automatic. So uh, I, I learned to drive before I could drive, and I'm grateful for that. All right, Dom, what's next? I had a uh, 83 Cutlass Sierra. License plate number 1HNA540. <laughs> wow. I remember it. The only yeah. license plate number I remember. <laughs> Very excited. Same like Chris in high school. Got my license at 16. And um, just couldn't believe that I had the independence to be able to say I don't want to be somewhere and leave wow. um, without having to get on a bus or catch a train. So, you know, it's, uh, it's been a feeling that I've been addicted to my whole life. I don't want to be somewhere, I'm out. <laughs> Smarter than Don. Stronger than Don. But could you kill him? This question, I don't drive. Do drive! <laughs> wow. I did own a car once though, but it had to have, um, so in England, when you are learning to drive, you have L plates on your car that just lets other drivers know that you're a learner driver. So I had a car that I owned that had L plates on and I could drive it when somebody who was over 21 and had had a license for like three years could drive, like I could drive in, as long as in the passenger seat there was an, like a qualified driver. Yeah. So I had that car for a few years, but it was a, a Peugeot, a Peugeot 206. There's nothing more powerful than the lover family. But you turn that into anger, there's nothing more dangerous. I got this, my first car was a 79 Monte Carlo, and I bought it at an auction in New York City. And the way the auction worked is you weren't able to turn the car on. You could just look at it from the outside and you had to decide whether you are going to buy it. I bought it for $175. And as I was driving home, there was a huge cl cloud of blue smoke behind me. <laughs> and I realized my first car was 11. Si quieres ver el video completo, aquí está la cajita. Porque hay muchísima más información para ti, para que te entretengas y para que te la pases muy bien. Y aprovechando el mensaje, no olvides suscribirte, activar la campanita y darle like. Esos tres son el co co combo ganador para que tú sigas disfrutando de mucho entretenimiento de parte de nosotros. Yo soy Alex Montiel. Nos vemos en el siguiente. Bye.